Welcome to the pre-assessment FMO guide for cable craning, otherwise known as Skyline. My name's Sarah Chapman, I'm from MJ Wood Services, and I'm joined today by Michael Crutchley. Hello. Who's an MPTC assessor and Lantra trainer, and is a forestry contractor with 20 years experience. And Mike will be sharing his knowledge with us today on the skills that you need to demonstrate during your FMO cable crane assessment. This is one of seven videos on the cable crane assessment and you will need to watch these in conjunction with our base machine videos which also cover your health and safety, hazards and risks and PPE. We already assume you have a good level of skill. This is not a training video. So we have, assume you have a good level of skill for using the Skyline or cable crane. And we always recommend that you seek formal training and read the qualification guidance. These videos would not be possible without the support of Forestry Focused Future, an innovative training scheme, and Callum Campbell of Forest Services Limited from Hunkless for the use of his machines, crew and site today. This is video three of our Skyline Pre-Guide Assessment, and this is where we're looking at spar trees. Great, so as part of the rigging up, we've got to set up the spar tree and select a spar tree. So what are we looking for when you're selecting the spar tree? Ideally, we're looking for a tree of the right size. So you know, it's got to be tall enough for our purposes. It's got to be, you know, the physical size of it. It's got to be, you know, the girth diameter of it. It's got to be enough to be able to take the pressure we're going to put through it. Look again at the roots, make sure the roots, got, you know, good root system on it, you know, it does all the way around, not just on the front or just the back. And that's it, you know, the tree actually does look sort of healthy. You don't want to choose one of these dead larch trees we're surrounded by here today. So when we're talking about the girth and the size of the tree, is there, uh, how are we d deciding whether it is big enough? Um, roughly looking about 30 centimetres per tonne of pull. So the tree's got to be wide enough, but you know, most of the time we're constrained by what's available. You know, we'd all like to have a bigger spar tree than is there, but you know, we're lucky in this case, we're, you know, they're pulling larch trees up, but there's this spruce crop at the bottom. So we've got some nice big spruce trees, otherwise, if we had to work off the larch trees here, it might have been a different game. So when we're selecting the spar tree, is there anything um, we should look at in relation to the back anchors and selection points for back anchors? Again, the spar tree's got to be far enough forward that you know, we're going to have to put the back anchors behind, so that's going to have to be another 20 meet, no, 10, 15 metres behind. So there's no point having a spar tree at the back with no anchors behind it, so it's got to be slightly forward to give us room for the anchors as well. So when we talk about rigging a uh, spar tree for Skyline, rigging in front or behind, and then the high lead, you rig in front. So is there...? Um, yeah, high lead, you'd, you know, traditionally you put the pulley in front of the tree so it's, um, the tree doesn't get in the way of the pull. Um, the Skyline, you can either have it in front, as we have here, with anchors on the back, or you run it through a solid snatch over the spar tree, down to an anchor at the back. Um, with a spar tree, unless it's an incredibly big tree and you're only pulling little stuff, you were going to put some anchors on it. So here we've got two supporting anchors to control the side pull and then one big anchor going backwards in line with the, with the actual skyline and the tower at the top end. Here we're accessing the spar tree. You need to make sure you've got all the relevant climbing tickets and they're valid. The access equipment can include ladder, climbing spikes, obviously rope and harness. Pass up the straps, make sure they're the right weight for the strain they're going to take. They're normally colour coded or have a ticket on them. We're passing up the cuplex rings and any shackles. and securing the anchoring system at the back of the spar tree. Now going to pass up the back anchor ropes. Here we're hauling in the main line. Make sure you've got your gloves on. And pass up the main line. Make sure it's secure and correctly fitted. And then we're going to set up the back anchors.
go tighten up the skyline too. Okay, so when setting up the skyline, you might need to consider intermediate supports. So even if you're not using intermediate supports on site that day, you're, you need to explain how you would set up an intermediate support. So what are we looking at when setting up an intermediate support? The guidance there is talking about the good old fashioned M support, um, where in the ideal world, you'll have two trees of the right height, the right diameter, plenty strong enough, good roots, um, nice and equal distance across the um, either side of the running line, um, level with each other, and plenty of good anchors you can use to hold them back with. Lower the skyline, Rocklin. Is everyone clear? Yeah, everyone's clear. So as part of um, uh, your assessment, we need to discuss artificial spa systems. So could you explain to me how we would rig an artificial spa system? The, the modern way of doing it would be get another excavator, put a tower on it, and then use that as like a mobile easy one. There you just make sure it's tall enough, you put your anchors on it. Um, if that wasn't available, you get a piece of steel or a piece of a tree set that up in a suitable place. Again, put lots of anchors on it, um, make sure it's all nice and secure, um, work out how you're gonna you know, anchor it all back and obviously getting up's the hardest part, probably need to use a turfer. Um, the same with, if you had to put an artificial mid support in, you'd make an A-frame, um, bind that all together, drag it upwards with a, a turfer, probably using a, prop, a piece of wood just to prop, just to get a bit of lift to begin with. Again, anchor it all back um, and put a pulley in the middle and there you've got an intermediate support, but it's a lot of trouble, best to avoid it. 